Chronic hepatitis B infection can lead to a low platelet count. Chronic hepatitis B can be managed effectively, and most people with the condition can expect to live long and healthy lives with appropriate care and monitoring. In this video we will discuss why platelet count reduced in chronic hepatitis B patient and what is the importance of platelet count in our body. Guys, one thing I would like to say, we work hard to come up with such topics for knowledgeable videos. Our aim is to educate you, how you can protect and take care of your liver with chronic hepatitis B infection. So, let's start this video to know about how the platelet count affect hepatitis B patient's life. First of all, we should know what is platelet. Platelets are small, colorless cell fragments that help the blood clot and stop bleeding. How platelet can be tested. Platelet count is a blood test that measures the number of platelets also called thrombocytes in your blood. What is the normal range of platelet count should be in the body? A normal platelet count typically ranges from 150,000 to 450,000 platelets per microliter of blood. How platelet works in the body? Platelet count is important including Immune response. Platelets interact with immune cells and release inflammatory mediators, playing a role in the body's immune response to infections and inflammation. Blood clotting. It is stopping or preventing excessive bleeding. Wound healing. They also release growth factors and other molecules that promote tissue repair and regeneration. Platelets contain numerous growth factors that are required for organ development, tissue regeneration and repair. Now, come to the point why platelets count decreased in the hepatitis patients. In hepatitis B, the platelet count may be reduced called thrombocytopenia due to various factors related to liver damage and immune system responses. This can be caused by the virus affecting bone marrow, inhibiting platelet production, and accelerating platelet destruction. However, in liver fibrosis and cirrhosis patients, also seen low platelet counts. In chronic hepatitis B patients, this can cause significant liver damage, including liver cancer, cirrhosis, which may disrupt the production of thrombopoietin, which is a hormone crucial for platelet production. The immune system's response to the virus can also play a role in reducing platelet counts. Low platelet counts frequently observed in individuals with chronic liver disease, including chronic hepatitis B and cirrhosis patients. As per National Institute of Health, a recent study reported that, in patients with CHB with significant fibrosis receiving antiviral therapy, the increase of platelets was associated with the improvement of liver fibrosis. What do you understand now? If someone has fibrosis and cirrhosis, it is important to have good platelet count for quick healing. However, there are currently no available data to support that the platelet count is able to evaluate the severity of liver injury in patients with chronic HBV infection. But still in most of the patients found platelet count decreased than normal range. Liver biopsy as the gold standard. The present cross-sectional study aimed to evaluate the role of the platelet count in estimating liver injury in patients with chronic HBV infection. At least in every six months platelet counts should be tested. That can be a valuable tool in managing chronic HBV infection. I would suggest when you consult with your doctor in every meet you can also ask for platelet count test.
This is also mandatory like ALT and AST test. If you like this video, please like and share this video more and more. Please support our channel. Thanks for watching Health Wisdom. We will meet you with a new update in the next video.